Okay, you guys, what is up? Fairy Tale Chapter 264. Fairy Romance. That's this entire chapter. Fairy Romance. Now, if you're wondering, yes, I am back home because this is a uh, winter break. You know, gonna spend time with the family. I have like five weeks off and then we get back to the same old stuff. But, um, Fairy Romance, that's what this chapter is all about. So, we start the chapter off and Natsu is screaming his head off. He's in, he's in agonizing pain. Why? Because Utier is now giving him his power boost, alright? He, she's accelerating one of his containers so he can have double the magic power. Alright, fine. And this is going to happen for everyone else, alright? So everyone else is waiting, you know, their turn in order to get their power boost. And then we realize Erza and Jalal aren't there. And this is the main gist of the chapter. Erza and Jalal have this moment where, like, you know, like she basically says, you know, do you remember, like, do you truly remember everything? He's like, yes. He, he, he remembers everything. He remembers, uh, killing Simon. He remembers, uh... Don't don't start thing with the Arashian Six. He he knows it all, right? He has it all. It's all here. He knows. And the thing is, Jalal is actually you know questioning his own morals. He's questioning whether or not he did what's right or wrong. And you know, like Eris was like, you know, like live to live. I I forgot what she said, but like living is something. Like living, you know, like she said this before. She she said this before. I forgot when exactly, but whatever. All right smacks him and then she trips over and then it's like this fucking scene where like they're really close to kissing like i mean like insanely close like even like one panel one panel like one big ass fucking panel of them like kind of making out and then he's like no can't do it i'm like did you just kind of troll us like what the fuck was that so yeah yeah it, it was like a mini troll i'm like, I'm like how do you chuck in a mini troll like what the Dude, like a mini troll. Wow. So, Jalal's like, no, can't do it. I have, I, I, I have a fiance, which is bullshit. It was bullshit. But he says, I, I have a fiance. And then, you know, like, they all, you know, he goes on his way. Um, His guild leaves. Him, Ultir, and Meredith, they leave. And then Erza knows it's bullshit. And here's the thing, all right? Erza is actually normal. She's not going through the power-up process, which I, which I think to me is the most important thing in this chapter. Erza, I mean, yeah, the romance, I can understand why a lot of you ladies would enjoy this romantic scene between Jalal and Erza, you know, ooh, yay, but I, I, I get it, I get it, I know, I know, I know, trust me, I know. But for me, the, mo the most important thing is that Erza is not going through the power up because I don't know why, I don't know why. Like, everyone is suffering in agonizing pain, and yet here she is, she's okay. She, she has no symbols on her, no nothing. So, I don't know. I have no idea what's up with that, but apparently Erza decided not to go through the power-up. Or maybe, like, next chapter, she will, like, you know, somehow be going through the power-up too. So, I, whatever, fine, whatever. But that being said, this chapter, this chapter, for me personally, I want to, I'm going to say it's okay. The reason why is because this chapter is either good or bad. Some people can say it's really, really bad. Cause you know, like, it was practically a troll in the sense of we really didn't get anywhere when it comes to the characters power up and the characters, etc. But then again, it, it, it kind of was a good chapter because we did get, you know, in depth with Erza and Jalal and their relationship and their bond together. So, I mean, yeah, it is good in that sense, but bad in, in like, another sense. So, I'm going to say it's okay. Right in the middle, smack dab, okay. Um, here's the thing, and I must point this out, and I probably will, and I probably will do a video on this in the future, but for me, personally, when it comes to romance in anime, I'm not a huge fan of it, because when it comes to romance in anime, what tends to happen is that the anime or manga tends to focus on the characters that are in that relationship. I do not. For me personally, a, a man who is a fan of character development, especially for every character, if you introduce a character who is important for the overall story, then you must develop this motherfucker. But in romance, that usually doesn't fucking happen because they tend to focus most of their attention on the people who are in that relationship. 
So that being said, um, but anyway, yeah. So this, so this chapter was okay. It was okay. Okay. It could be. I know. Again, it, it could be really bad or really good. So okay. So I'll see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe. King of Lightning. Signing off.